All right, we're back. Uh, Mark Fulmer here with our uh, continuing influencer series. We've met a couple of different people, um, focused on a whole bunch of different specialties, and now I'm happy to be with Tim McCrate. Nice to see you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, Tim McCrate, ASIS International Board of Directors, and uh, the uh, ESRM point person uh, board, on the board. Board sponsor. Board, yep. board sponsor, that's what I was looking for. Um, for uh, ESRM, uh, professionally ESRM evangelist, uh, dog lover, if dog I lover. from your Twitter handle. Dog lover, yeah. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, ESRM for a couple of minutes. So, Tim, uh, tell us uh, in a few short words, kind of your definition of what is ESRM. So the way I look at ESRM is it's a philosophy and a framework. It's a way that we're going to change how we operate as security professionals because our goal now is to focus on those assets that we need to be successful for a business. What are the risks that are facing those assets? Come up with opportunities and options to mitigate the risk. And then the most important part yeah. is we let the business decide the best way to resolve the risk. Interesting. That's good. Um, during one of your presentations that you've given, you've talked about ESRM going from being ceremonial to functional and actually being being applied, being out there. So talk to us a bit about that. Absolutely. So in 2016, we made the decision in November of 2016 that ESRM was going to be one of the focal points for ASS moving forward. So in the last two years, we've had an opportunity to take our program itself, which is the SRM, and move it from which was discussed earlier before and then decided upon in 2016. We spent the last little while being what I consider to be ceremonial, where we've actually stood up the program, we've invested time and resources, and we've created deliverables for our value streams. Okay. But in 2019, moving forward, now this becomes a functional model. So all of the work that we're doing for ESRM now becomes ingrained in the culture of ASIS, okay. and we're looking at this now from a program perspective and not just as an initiative. Yeah, and getting the message out to all the chapters. Absolutely, the that's going to be so key for us, and where we're going to rely on our members across the globe now is to take the message of ESRM and bring it to the chapter level. Yeah, and I see it really also as, as kind of professionalizing the industry too, right? Kind it of is. bringing us to that business function that we wanted to see and, and want to be. You bet. From my perspective, this is that inflection point where we move from being an uh, being an industry or being a trade to actually being a profession and looked at as a subject matter expert and a business enabler for every organization. Okay, it's called enterprise security risk management. Um, does that mean big company only? You know, or is that can it can it apply anywhere? What's your what's your take on that? No, everyone has that perception that enterprise security risk management is something that only large enterprises can do. No, absolutely not. This can be done at even a project level. It can be done with small businesses, large enterprises. It can be done for a program or a particular project. The, the framework and philosophy for, for enterprise security risk management can apply to virtually anything across the enterprise. All right, grab your crystal ball. Uh, tell us about what the future looks like for ESRM. So the goal for us over the next two years is to take what we've learned here during GSX, our first time with GSX. We have over 17 sessions that we're focused on ESRM across GSRX this week. We want to take the learnings from here. We want to create deliverables that we can give back to all of the people who are volunteering and who expressed interest with ESRM. We want to give them collateral and material so they can become part of our evangelist team and take it to the chapter level. Yeah. Once we get through that, we're going to retune again for Chicago in 2019 and then 2020 as well. Fantastic. So quick recap, uh, going from operational to strategic, really driving the, uh, the business or the risk into the business, understanding that risk. And Keeping the, the ownership of the risk with the right people? Absolutely, that's key for us, right? We don't own risk. As security professionals, we don't own the risk, but we need to find within our organization those people that are. Fantastic. Tim, thanks very much. Thanks so much, Mark. Yeah.